Judge denies Takashi 69's request to serve the rest of his sentence at home due to the coronavirus, and he's a high risk person behind bars um, to contract the virus because he suffers from asthma and a few other respiratory uh, issues that he got going on. So let's talk about it. We back, good fellow sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Yes, I got the regular page back. I'll be doing stream later. But um, yeah, man. Six nine on the other channel, Good Field of Sports TV two point I spoke on it. Um, he was trying to get out due to the uh, Corona epidemic, and you know you being confined in prison, um, you know it's easy to spread, right? You see them spread all types of diseases in prison, man, and staph infections and just other things, just how they living inside there. And he has asthma, he has a couple other respiratory issues going on that makes him high risk uh, of you know, to get Corona and it'd be fatal. So he requests to receive time served at home. He'd been doing that even before the Corona pandemic, uh, even spread. And, um, he was, he got denied because the judge said he simply doesn't have the authority to do so. So I guess whoever has the authority to do so, um, uh, may be closed due, uh, due to the Corona virus. So I guess they were just trying to go to the judge, kick it with him at his crib where everybody self quarantined and try to get him to sign off on it. Um, so six nine can serve the rest of his four month sentence in uh, home confinement, but he said, "Hey, my hands tied." So he asked, he told six nine's team, his uh, lawyer, that he needs probably to file a request with the uh, Bureau of Prisons, federal prisons, whatever, whatever that is. So uh, I think that's what his team gonna do. But um, yeah, everybody else getting out, uh, you know, but mostly nine non violent, you know, criminals and low level offenders and stuff of that nature you know he was responsible for putting a hit out allegedly on his friend at one point you know he was responsible for putting the pack on uh, uh chief keith and his cousin head you know so he he is probably considered a violent criminal at this point but you know what let him out you know what i'm saying you know i was watching uh a video somebody shot of alpo martinez if you don't know who alpo martinez is if you watch Paid in Full, he was portrayed in by Rico, even though that wasn't an accurate depiction on how it ended for him. I, you know, challenge you to find a real Paid in Full. I urge you to find a real Paid in Full story on YouTube and it explains exactly how his run ended and how it truly ended. They tried to make uh, Rich Porter look bad, but he walking through Harlem getting love. You know, I seen him on the, uh, Instagram a few last year with Face on Love. Big worm, big perm, I don't give a... You know, I seen him on there, you know, getting love from him. And this dude is somebody that killed his friend. You know, somebody that went down to D.C. and did a lot of snitching and tattletelling. Um, so he getting love and he was out differences. He got bodies under his resume. But, you know, the society is all messed up, man. This whole generation, I ain't talking about the youth. I'm talking about the old heads been corrupted. So let them out, man. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Bill Cosby requested to get out today, too. He had high risk because he's an older person. You know, but, you know, he got to start at six months. You know, right now, you know, he just got to stay safe in there. Uh, he got a few more months to go. He'll be home by, uh, before Bobby Smurder will. Bobby Smurder be home in December. And we're going to see how they treat him because all these niggas is going around here saying free 6 9 and Everybody know he was a snitch even before it was proved, proven he was a snitch when he took the stand. All these dudes in New York going around free six nine, free six nine. I hear him say free Bobby Smarter. You know, same thing that Captain Nova said. He said they they fucking fucking with six nine and wouldn't fuck with me. And I'm a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm really from Brooklyn. I wasn't no suburban kid. You know, they took pre they six nine took precedence in New York over me, and look what happened. You know what I'm saying? He said, you know, he struggled with some stuff on that one, but that's how black people do, man. He same thing with the Eminem situation. Right, you know, they sit there and they take Eminem word like God over any other brother, and Casanova witnessed that nowhere else and but in the black community can the other infiltrate the culture and they it, they get a pass instantly, no matter what they done in the past, said the N word, you know, did some racist stuff, they're gonna get that pass and they're gonna co sign them before they co sign the brother. Casanova learned it the hard way, but hey, let me know what you guys think. I'll link the TMZ article in the description. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, video request. Keep sharing the videos. All on social media. My email out there right now. But hey, want to make, uh, want to hear some more videos? Just hit me up on social media for a request. If you got a video request, one time for the one time we gone.